Yeah, the moral of the story is if you plan to go OTR, just know that they're going to charge your ass for labor costs. What up, what up? Jeff Joseph back with another video. Listen, what's going on guys? I just wanted to tap in real quick and talk about the ugly side of box trucking. I am back here uh, at another international dealership getting some service done to Big Bertha. Um, unfortunately, uh, y'all saw in the last video that I was uh, getting the truck service. Um, had to get, get a new fan belt put on the truck. Um, unfortunately, that wasn't the only problem. So basically what happened was I ran an Amazon load later on that night, and by the next day, uh, the belt was ripped apart again. Um, I wasn't on the side of the road or stranded or anything like that. I got the load delivered um, with no problem. I noticed that when I went to get fuel the next morning, I saw that there was a piece of rubber hanging from the bottom of the truck. And so I knew it had to have been uh, the same issue that I was already dealing with. So um, basically that happened. I got the first repair done on Saturday. Uh, it happened, I guess, at some point Saturday night, Sunday morning. And so I pretty much have been parked, not making any money uh, because it was Memorial Day. It was yesterday. Today is Tuesday, the first day that I can get in and get this taken care of. Um, so unfortunately, uh, I missed out on a couple thousand dollars. Uh, being that it was a holiday weekend and I got to pay about a thousand dollars to get this repair done It's gonna be about 850 um, is what it's looking like now and of course like I said before in previous videos um, Nobody ever wants to pay it, right? <laughs> nobody ever wants to pay it It eats away, eat away, eat away at your profits and um, It's no fun. It's no fun, but you got to pay it if you want to continue to make money so uh, the good thing is they'll be able to uh, get this taken care of today and I'll be back on the road uh, within a couple of hours. I actually don't know why I'm sitting out here. Uh, <laughs> I need them to get on it. I need them to be on it now because I got shit to do. I got some loads to pick up, some money to be made. But I just want to tap in real quick and just let y'all know that, you know, not everything is always perfect. I told y'all I was going to show y'all the good, the bad and the ugly. Um, so here it is, it's another repair, $850 uh, just for the fan belt and a new tensioner. So what happened was the belt was running and ripping apart because the tensioner had pretty much gone out, was unaligned. So I had to replace the tensioner and obviously put a new belt on it because the new belt that I just put on it was no longer good. So actually, let me just be very clear that um, the parts itself only cost 165. The rest is going to international for fees and um, whatever else they decided to charge me for disposal, um, the labor costs over 500 some dollars, almost six just for that. Um, but the parts itself only cost 165. So, it, and they say this is from general wear and tear. Um, from what I've researched, I guess it's true. Uh, but if it happens again, the birth is gonna have to go because I can't have no problems on the road. I'm not the type of person that could be stranded on the side of the road. Like, that's not my vibe. I'm not a get out there and fix it, do it yourself type person. Not saying that I can't, because I definitely can. I can do anything, <laughs> really. I'm the type of person that I can do anything, but I don't want to. And so as soon as things start giving me problems, I replace them. I give you a chance, but then I gotta replace you. So anyway, I'll keep y'all posted if anything changes. Um, let y'all know how this goes, and hopefully I'm back on the road real soon.
dropped off the load. I ended up picking up a load um, after I ended that video. My truck was actually ready to go. <laughs> so I ended up picking, up, picking a up a load in the area and uh, brought it up here to Baltimore overnight. Um, it was a quick run, quick turnaround, overnight haul. Uh, ended up being a pretty decent load, uh, paying over $2 a mile. Uh, it came from uh, Charleston, South Carolina, all the way up here to Baltimore. Um, nothing major, but you already know I told y'all the formula is a thousand a day. A thousand a day, average over two dollars a mile. About a thousand a day, you'll be just fine. Paying load, it was actually picking up Boss Hugo, um, a bunch of cologne and perfume and uh, apparel, stuff like that. Pretty light load, too. It was um, less than three thousand pounds, I think like twenty six hundred pounds. So ain't nothing to it. really not much else to say on this one um i'm about to go ahead and get me a shower in um i don't have a load right now so i'm about to get fresh probably work out um and get some rest because i am a little tired i'm dispatching myself right now um but more on that later uh, i'll tell you about that as the story unfolds um, but for now i'm dispatching myself and i don't have another load right now which is fine because i need to get some rest anyway But other than that, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Uh, so yeah. yeah, the moral of the story is, if you plan to go OTR, just know that they're gonna charge your ass for labor costs over the road. So that's one of the benefits of having a rental because you don't have to deal with any of that. But otherwise, you know, just know, just be prepared that cost to be the boss. But at the same time, you know, like I said, that perks to having a lease. Um, Although my total came to about 850, um, I didn't have to pay the whole thing because it's a lease truck. So anyway, um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. But y'all let me know what type of topics y'all want me to talk about next in the next video. Y'all let me know what y'all want to know about, and we'll go for next. Catch y'all in the next video.